Hey everyone, welcome to Sunrise Extra on a Tuesday. Lots of people going back to work, trying to uh, get back to a little sense of normal as more counties are opening up. A big day certainly for several places on the Oregon coast today as uh, vacation rentals and hotel rooms now opening back up in Seaside and Cannon Beach um, after those local government city councils decided to close those off for a period of time to keep everyone safe. And joining us live this morning, Denny Grossclaw, the general manager of Surf Sand Resort and the Stephanie Inn in Cannon Beach with a beautiful view behind you. Welcome, Denny. Good morning. How you doing? I'm doing really well, thank you. Thanks for having us on. So tell me about what are the reservation books looking like already starting today? Are you guys full? Uh, not full. We've got a kind of, it's kind of a slow build. We're, mm -hmm. we're about 20% occupancy between both properties right now for tonight. So we've, we're, it's, a, it's a really good start to what will be a, a great week and, and undoubtedly a great month. Denny, you look very comfortable there sitting, uh, I don't know if you're at the Surf Sand right now or if you're at the Stephanie Inn. Can you confirm which property you're actually hanging out at? I can. I'm in the library at the Stephanie Inn. I uh, thought it was be fitting to uh, showcase the beautiful rock that does uh, embody Cannon Beach so well. Yeah, that is a better view than uh, what Rod is showing us from his uh, home perch there in Clark County right now. But <laughs> hey, uh, I'm, I'm curious, Danny. Obviously, this has been our, one of our big stories this morning on our Sunrise TV show. Uh, the fact that not only Cannon Beach, but also Seaside, reopening hotels today, uh, allowing short-term rentals for visitors. Clearly, you waited until after the busy holiday weekend, Memorial Day weekend, to, to do this. Uh, I'm correct in thinking that, right, that this was a, uh, a definite approach to let's wait till the holidays over and then do this on Tuesday? Indeed, yeah, it was, uh, uh, it was uh, a city call and it was the right call. Uh, the Memorial Day weekend was a very good weekend down here in Cannon Beach. Uh, there were uh, more people than, you know, the last few weeks, but uh, nothing like it would have been, I think, it had me uh, open prior to. What is, this has got to be a tough one, you know, you've got the economic, um, you know, side of your brain working of like, we need money coming in from visitors and tourists. And then you've got the health side, you know, that all of us across the country are kind of struggling with. Talk about like the, the inner, you know, discussions within city council and within town of, um, I mean, you guys did this strategically after the Memorial Day weekend, smart. Now we've got some great weather coming up. Uh, people are itching to get out. There is still that stay at home order that you really shouldn't be, you know, crossing county borders and all that. People are gonna do it for sure. What's, talk about that kind of like inner conflict, I guess, that you guys must have. Yeah, it, it is. It is that it isn't in a conflict for sure. Uh, you know, we're we're uh, as as hospitality leaders throughout Cannon Beach. You know, uh, we've had uh, multiple. Uh, you know, Zoom is a new thing, right? Everybody's living on Zoom. Uh, and the hospitality uh, leaders in Cannon Beach. You know, we are have been through this process and uh, still are very much uh, a unified front. Uh, and we, you know, shared best practices, talked about, you know, uh, if these are the guidelines, the minimum guidelines, that, that's great, but we're going to do, we're going to be here. And we're all trying to, you know, work together to, to, to achieve that. And I would say that, uh, you know, having open dialogue together uh, and talking about the importance of, of making it safe for not only the team members, but all the guests was at the forefront uh, of what we were decided to do uh, as, a, as a group and uh, it was it, it, yeah it, it is a very uh, complex uh, situation but it's one that I think that the the, the buildup again will be kind of a, a slower buildup uh, and I think it, it, it'll be the right uh, it'll be the right growth through the through the month for for the, for the town. Hey, this is uh, Rod Hill. Good morning. And uh, yeah, I'm enjoying that view uh, out the window behind you very much this morning. Have you sat down strategically and thought, well, okay, June's coming up. We think our business is going to be 
you know, I don't know, I'm just going to throw out a number, half of what it normally would be. We think by August we could be 60% of what we normally would be. I mean, are you putting together in your head what your outlooks could be as you march forward, certainly through the Labor Day weekend? Sure. Uh, I would tell you that we've been doing that since we closed. Uh, the, the very interesting thing is especially, uh, well, it, our properties are, I think, are pretty unique uh, properties. Uh, and the one thing that is very, well, I wouldn't say it's surprising, it's, it's very interesting is uh, the phones have never stopped uh, at both of the hotels. Uh, we've, we've had guests, which, you know, we refer to our, our guests, our return guests especially, uh, as family, uh, their extended family. And they, they have been calling, as we call to check on them to see how they're doing through all this, they're calling to check on us. Mm -hmm. uh, and they can't wait to get back. Uh, you know, it's it's very it's very viable that you know you know towards the end of the month uh, we could be looking at very high occupancy. Uh, it, a lot of people, as as you mentioned, are you know everybody it needs a little bit of a break, you know, and, and want to get out. It, but you know, we're just kind of encouraging everybody to do it the right way. You know, masks are are a thing, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so is social distancing, and, and and you know, it's it's that fine balance of, of doing what is right and uh but yeah i, I really think that uh occupancy uh will will be up and down because you know that's what what will probably happen for the first month or so but you know as summer gets here and, you know holidays happen uh we're, we'll be we'll be good this town will will be a buzz i'm sure I'm keeping an eye, one eye on the view you're providing us with, Denny. Another eye on our comments this morning on the live Facebook <laughs> stream here. Uh, two things. Number one, you mentioned masks. So if, if someone's wondering at this point, who is that masked man joining Nina and Rod this morning? That is Denny Grossclaude. He is the general manager at both the Surf Sand Resort and Stephanie Inn in Cannon Beach. Cannon Beach and Seaside both opening up hotels today and uh, allowing short-term rentals for visitors. We have viewers commenting, number one, some short and sweet ones. Uh, Connie May Ness says to you, Denny, about bloody time. <laughs> uh, Janice Peterson Moore says, hey, any special prices, Denny? She says she would love to stay with you, never has, but Cannon Beach, she points out, is her favorite. So not just special prices, but let's talk about things that will be different yeah. starting today and moving forward that people may not be used to there at either the Stephanie or Surf Sand Resort. Sure. Sure. Uh, I would tell you that uh, throughout uh, lodging in general, but especially I can speak specifically to our properties and Cannon Beach as a whole, I think uh, you're going to see, you know, masks will be uh, worn by all team members uh, until until we, you know, are guided in a different direction that is going to be part of the new norm, right? Uh, you will see, uh, you know, housekeepers may have a, a smock or a, a jacket on as they go into to clean a room. Uh, you will have hand sanitation, uh, you know, hand gel throughout the properties, accessible for anybody at any time. Uh, you will, uh, oftentimes you will see folks wiping down everything from elevator buttons to door handles to uh, basically any any touch point that, you know, it, it, we spent a lot of time, uh, you know, during this closure, really evaluating what, what do people touch, you know, and putting ourselves again back in the, the guest perspective. And, and walking in as a guest and, you know, you, newspapers and magazines can't really sanitize or clean that, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, some of those things have been, you know, removed, but we're very cognizant of, you know, let we can't take away stuff. We, we need to, this is a, an opportunity for us to enhance the experience, not detract from it. So, you know, we, you know, Stephanie and we have a, a wine and cheese hour, Northwest wine and cheese hour, uh, but, you'll have individual plates versus a big platter, right? Because communal food is really not a thing right now. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing with breakfast. We, we switched away from doing a breakfast buffet to a plated buffet or a plated option because again, that communal uh, offering is, is not allowed. And, and, and but that's, you know, that to, to us was an enhancement. You know, it's, it's a beautiful plate of food. And, and if you want to, well, you can get to. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, uh, I hate buffets, uh, so, so it's, yes, it's getting really rid of the buffet good. is a, is a plus in my book, Danny. <laughs> You hate buffets, my uh, gosh. Yeah. Never, I, I'd rather have the plated single serving, yes. Yeah. Uh, can I ask you, though, just along those lines, you're doing something different with the coffee, too, because of the same reasons you just mentioned. 
Yeah, we're we're uh, off, we have in-room coffee. Uh, we also have in-room dining that will bring coffee to the rooms, uh, and then you know in the dining rooms it will be you know a, you'll have one server from beginning to end uh, for through your dining experience, uh, and that server will you know be pouring your coffee and and sanitizing everything in between tables as per you know normal. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, again nothing has been removed. It's just been uh, adjusted or altered a little bit, and and I really think that folks will appreciate uh, those offerings and, and understand you know through conversation why they're there. Uh, is it's really not uh, you know a lot of this isn't a surprise. But again, you know I think right off the bat I think that you know the the masks are, are a thing I, I think for a lot. Of Mm -hmm. What about you guys are really popular, especially at the Stephanie Inn, for events, weddings, um, you know, meetings, stuff like that. What's the status of booking those? Well, it's okay. it's again, it's kind of a layered uh, situation with as the phases progress and we're able to open up for uh, groups more than 25 or more than 100. That that will kind of dictate uh, what we're able to do. Uh -huh. uh, I, I will say that. Currently, obviously, you know, we're, it's not really happening because of the size of, uh, of functions you can have or mm -hmm. um, groups you can have. But we, uh, we will, you know, fingers crossed, we get through this, uh, these get out of phase three and, and then do what our new norm is. Uh, we'll be hopefully back in the swing of things, and, you know, because there's weddings. And as you can see from the view, uh, it's a pretty fantastic place to get married and have a, have a party. So. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, being able to do that for folks. And I love this really quick before we, I know Rod has a question, but Karen uh, watching live. Good morning, Karen. She says, I love seeing the Stephanie in this morning. That is where I got married. How cool. I love that comment. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh. All right, Rod, go ahead. That is great. Well, Denny, you know, Cannon Beach, I, I think for a lot of people, certainly myself and, and my wife, it's, it's the best coastal community to spend the afternoon just walking yeah. up and down the main drag and going into all the shops and maybe grabbing some ice cream. So as far as you know, if I were to come to Cannon Beach uh, in the coming days, is it going to look pretty similar in terms of uh, most of the shops are, are going to be open as they always have been, as far as you know or not? As, as far as I know, yeah, there, there's a, a good contingency of shops that are opening. The, I'll be honest, I think the, uh, there's a few shops that were waiting for lodging to open uh, because, you know, the, the travel ban got lifted. But without lodging, you might not have that influx of, other than day trippers, you may not have that influx of folks that are actually out shopping necessarily. They're more coming out here to, to walk on the beach and relax. Uh, but it will, it will it'll obviously feel and look a little bit different because you'll have shops that, have to kind of regulate because of social distancing and only allow a certain number of people. You know, uh, I, I noticed Bruce's Candy Kitchen has a little bit of a racetrack in and out, which is great. And but because of social distancing and, and whatnot, I think it will feel and look a little different, as we all know. Uh, but it, it's the same beautiful uh, Cannon Beach that we all know and love. I just wonder, like, this is a weird thing, you know, like. Um, the vacation rentals and the hotels are opening, but then there's a lot of, you know, shamers out there who if you post a picture, you know, and you're from the Portland area, you go to the beach, oh boy, they will let you have it, you know, or you get dirty looks from, you know, maybe people that live on the coast who are worried about legitimately their health. But then the businesses of like need that money so badly and legally you can go, I mean, it's open. But then you have this like cross, I mean, I don't know. It's just like this weird conundrum. Like what's the vibe around town from people who live there? Do you think, Denny? I would tell you it, it's, it's a mix. Uh, but I would tell you from the conversations I've had and heard, uh, especially in the last like five to seven days, uh, mm -hmm. it, is, it is one of uh, excitement that we're reopening uh, the town. Uh, mm -hmm. Even even those that are concerned understand the, all of it, uh, but there, I think everybody's in the same boat that they just hope that everybody is, you know, abiding by uh, the regulations in place. I.e., you know, uh, abiding by social distancing, mm -hmm. uh, wearing masks when you're in public and whatnot, and, and that's the big thing. I mean, they they really just they're 
there is some concern out there, you know, especially depending on, you know, the age group and, and, and whatnot. But I really feel that the, the folks that have been here uh, the last few days seem to understand and get it. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm, I'm hopeful that as we, you know, move down this road, uh, that it will continue that way. I, I, I'm very, I'm very confident that people will do the right thing. Hey, Denny, for those watching right now, uh, thinking about making a reservation at either of your properties, Stephanie Inn, Surf Sand Resort, uh, easiest ways to go about doing that right now? Uh, on the website or give us a call straight on the, the direct line. And are you able to book to capacity? I mean, is that allowed? We are, uh, absolutely. Okay. Uh, as I said, I think uh, there's there's a, a, a couple different camps, right? The, there's the people that want to get out because they've been really, you know, pent up in the house and, and really want to get out. And those are the folks I think that we're going to see this week especially. Um, but I, I really do feel like it'll be, you know, a, a bit of a, a slower buildup uh, mm -hmm. probably into the middle of the month. You know, Nina, it's like uh, what you described earlier. We, we have the green light now, right, to yeah. go to the coast, yeah. to visit those towns. But you're, as you approach yep. that green light, you still are hesitant. You're thinking, is something still going to come through that red light over there? Because you can go, but still a lot of people don't feel great about going. And you can go, but still a lot of people are asking you not to come. So we're still in that gray area right now. But There's I know people talking about that right now on yeah. Facebook. Um, Trisha Brown, we've gotten lots of people who, who live over there on the coast. Jeanette Ryan has been um, tuning in this morning. Good morning, Jeanette. We love that you're uh, chatting live with us. She says, we love the tourists. She lives in the Thousand Trails RV Resort. She says, hello from Seaside. And... Um, she loves the tourists. Trisha Brown says not all locals feel hatred for tourists or day trippers, but yes, there are the ones that are quite unhappy now that things are open. Cascade Ducell, thanks for watching. She says stay safe, everyone. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a conundrum, but boy, it is going to be just an awesome week if you're able to, you know, snag a reservation. Stay safe. Please be considerate, you know, of the folks that live there. Wear your mask if you're asked to and um, give plenty of space to people out there on the Oregon coast. Denny, thank you so much for getting up early with us. Such a beautiful spot. And uh, Stephanie in Surf Sand Resort, open, open, open. Thank you, Denny, very much. Open, open. <laughs> Thanks for Have a great week. All right, you yep. guys, we'll see you tomorrow on Sunrise Extra. Bye.